You want to talk plants? Late July, here together with Daneward, Dwarf Elder, Sambucus ebulus, plant family Adoxaceae or Adoxaceae, cousins Sambucus nigra, Sambucus racemosa, or members of the Viburnum plant genus. Sambucus ebulus is native to southern and central Europe, as well as southwest Asia, but now well established and even naturalized outside of its range, like parts of eastern North America. You can find Sambucus ebulus along roadsides, railroad, arable land, forest margins, from low altitude to the mountains throughout Europe from Netherlands and northern Ukraine southwards. Sambucus ebulus is a herbaceous perennial plant from an extensive rhizome. Stems are mostly unbranched till the tips. When crushed, they have an unpleasant, even fetid smell, and this is one of their ways to protect themselves from herbivory. Leaves are opposite at the stem, two at the same node. And uh, for this particular species of Sambucus, they have quite conspicuous stipules, leaf-like structures that are, are attached at the joint in between a leaf and the stem. The leaves are pinnately compound with five to nine leaflets. The stems terminate in a flat-topped corymb inflorescence, 10 to 15 centimeters in diameter. A corymb is a type of inflorescence where even though the flowers, the individual flowers, start at different levels, they all end up at the same flat top, meaning that the pedicels the floral stalks are not the same length. Characteristic for this species, Sambucus ebulus, the anthers are usually purple, making a very nice contrast with the usually white flowers, occasionally pink. The fruit, it's a glossy black berry, about five to six millimeters in diameter. A raw fruit of any elderberries, Sambucus nigra, racemosa, and this particular Sambucus ebulus, are poisonous when raw, as they contain cyanogenic glycosides. And even the leaves might cause contact dermatitis in some people. Dwarf elder contains a variety of phytochemicals. Flavonoids and lectins are responsible for most of its therapeutical effects. Dwarf elder has been used for a variety of ailments, such as joint pains, colds, wounds, infections, edema to fight inflammation, and rheumatoid arthritis. Unfortunately, it's not very well studied. Sambucus ebulus, dwarf elder, has great phytotherapeutical properties, already wildly explored scientifically throughout Middle East but still an untapped resource from the phytochemistry of plants. But here in Romania, Sambucus ebulus, or boz, is just one more native plant to appreciate and learn about.